a mess. Uh, but man, Caleb Williams was fun to watch. So let's start with it. You know, the first first pass, he goes back, he takes a sack and 5.1. He hangs and he hangs and he hangs in the middle of the pocket and he hung too long and he took a sack. He kept holding the ball for a while. Then he got going he, on a read option. He kept for 10. He really fakes well. You know, he doesn't have great speed running to the edge. There's no 40 time on this guy, but I don't know what he is. Four, seven, maybe flat. I don't know. But then, man, then he started throwing it like four or five tight window completions, quick release, zings the ball. He's throwing a really tight spiral. Uh, you know, he had all day one time and he scrambled in, gained 23. He had more on third and one for an easy 40 yard touchdown and he underthrew that ball and the ball was picked. So I liked it in the post game interview on TV. He immediately sidestepped the question, went right to his screw up on that pass. I liked it. That was very impressive. Um, another 20 yard scramble. Then he took a sack and 4.0. Then he's flushed. He scrambles right and throwbacks in, throws throws the ball back inside to commit for 27. Then he had a batted ball. So right now he ranks. 16th in passer rating at no 20th at 88.7. So after those brutal first two games, he's really come on and he's helped them. And I think bear fans got to be feeling really good about what they've seen on the guy. Should I keep going T real quick on Caleb Williams, man, those two touchdowns to Keenan Allen. I just loved how different they were. One's a laser back shoulder. It's got some, Got some mustard on it. The other one to the corner just feathers it perfect. He's got a lot of different pitches for for a rookie. I feel like that's got to be rare. It's it's not just one. You know he he knows how he's got to throw the ball in different situations, on different plays, in different coverages, and and schematically it's improving. Man, it was so blah early on with the Bears, but you got to give Shane Waldron credit for. But really kind of innovating on the fly here. His passer rating is to your point. Had the three brutal games. Actually, really, you know, two and a half, but the last three games, 106.6, 126.2, 124.4. Hmm. Seven touchdowns, yep. one pick. Um, you know, and Jacksonville has a better pass rush than what the Packers saw from the Cardinals and the Lions saw from the Cowboys, I would say. But he hung in there and really threw the ball well. All right, his receivers. These great weapons that we've been talking about, the four or five great weapons, they really showed on this day now. They're not as good as the – are they as good as the Lions? They don't have the running – they got a lot of weapons. I'm not going to start rating them yet. But, all right, Komet, he's been kind of in a shell. He just hasn't been getting the ball, but he got the ball a lot. In this one was he five for 70, two touchdowns. He kind of leaked out of the protection, ran, ran a long seam route. Uh, Williams spotted him, caught the ball about the 10, broke a tackle from the safety. Cisco at the 10 It was a double screen. Beautiful call by uh, – who's that coordinator? Nah. Shane Waldron, who's taking some heat in the Windy City. I know that. Uh, yeah, and Komet's a good player, T. I mean, he's a really good tight end. All right. Roma Dunze. I hadn't seen the Bears for a couple games, but here now he ran a post for 28 against zone coverage and looked good doing it. And then he ran a well-covered in route, tough catch, gain of 12. Keenan Allen's back from that ankle, I believe it was, made a great touchdown catch on a back shoulder. Uh, Lloyd was the linebacker, was on him in tight coverage. He drew a third down holding penalty on Darby, the corner. He caught a touchdown, got his feet down on a fade for three, and made a tough catch on a slant on fourth and three. He's really freaking good, right, T? Keenan Allen has stood the test of time. He's a wonderful player. He's Anquan Bolden. He's one of those great Patriots guys. He's a tremendous player. He's in the Hall of Fame. Trained as well by Mr. Steve Calhoun, Jordan Love's oh, yeah? personal quarterback coach. Got to okay. give Steve a little kudos there. Yes. Yeah. Insane route runner. You talk to receivers around the NFL, they point to Keenan Allen and Stevie Johnson as like trailblazers for running mm -hmm. routes as a receiver in the modern mm -hmm. game. Mm 
Uh, DJ Moore had kind of a quiet day, uh, but he's always there available to, to break open a game. All right, let's go to the other. Let's go to the stick with the weapons. Uh, Swift. DeAndre Swift. Okay. The ex lion, you know, and they moved him and they got, uh, they got the kid from Alabama and he's better than Swift, but Swift looked really good in this day now. Really good. He had 21 touches for 119 and one score. He's had two or three really good games back to back. You know, he had a fine cutback game 12. He saw that cutback lane. He will not run out of bounds. This little guy is tough. He doesn't want to go out of bounds. Uh, you know, the Lion won't either. 20 on a screen, he made uh, that Miller linebacker miss. He reversed his field on a run, basically gained eight. Shake and, bake, shake and bake off right end, gained 18. Broke a bunch of tackles. Then he fumbled on a toss. Uh, they got the ball back, but it was a, a really bad fumble. Roshan Johnson, I think he was injured early in the year and they were playing the Herbert guy on short yardage, which was ridiculous. Now they got Roshan, gained 16 on a screen. He's a big back, broke a tackle, made a one-handed catch in the flat. I like it. When Williams threw a pick, Johnson went and made a really nice tackle. You see how guys play, how, how they hustle when the other team's got the ball. 